Thank you, Dr. Ishwaran. And I must thank the organizing committee of this entire program, Mr. Rajiv Chandran, Sharanya Chandran, and Deepak Hariharan, to brought us here, very high profile panelists amongst you, to share and mentor you, to counsel you. It's a very rare opportunity, I must tell you this. Taking out time, Dr. Suresh is a very, very busy person, Geeta, uh, Dr. Ishwaran. And this morning, why we have to mentor you? And what is this importance after having open days in Delhi University? Still, this particular platform is being thought about. It's very apt because of this, the present system which we have central, uh, the CBC is, where choice-based credit system, where they're offering both as core subjects and electives. I'll just tell you why they have to counsel you at this time, not after a year or so, because when you are choosing a subject, you have to have fairly good idea what you are going to do after three years or what these subjects are going to lead you after three years. At this interface, you can't really talk to a college teacher because you are not still opted for a subject before that you are going to enroll for a registrations and the application forms. So this particular effort of Deepak Hariharan and Sharanya is going to give you some bird's eye view about what you are going to choose or these subjects, what they are going to offer you at your master's program or in your career. And they have asked me to talk about biology. Yes, it's very, very dear to me talking about biology to those students, very young students, who often come to me and ask about biotechnology programs. Because for the past 20 years, when we did our masters, and by the time all of you are going to aim for the masters, there is a lot of change has come in a biology the modern biology, lot of excitement we have seen in our own eyes. I'm sure Dr. Ishwaran and Dr. Gurg. At one point of time, biology has been seen only as a classical botany and geology subjects where students never used to interest to do the taxonomy about writing about some plants as well as the chordates and non chordates of uh, geology aspect or where are the career which is leading to. From that biology, today if we see biology is like going to human genome project, understanding human genome project. Biology is going to take us to design drugs. Biology is going to take us to design vaccines, which is direct application on the society. If you talk about agricultural biotechnology, where actually it is all going to be. But all these are interdisciplinary. As Dr. Gurg has rightly said that we are all depending on each other. Only at the initial stages you are choosing certain disciplines where you have more apt, more you are more comfortable to read at the initial stages. But we depend heavily on each other. Whether I'm from biology, I need my chemistry background very badly. I need chemistry background. Without mathematics, I cannot do anything. I can give you the example how the excitement in the field has come. And recently, maybe the students who are sitting here who can understand, recently we had a workshop in a college which has been done by, um, that workshop is based on a paper microscope, origami microscope, which we call it as a fold scope. So this has been uh, asked by Department of Biotechnology to have that, and the one Dr. Ma Manu Prakash will come and uh, explain the students how to do that. This is what we started with. And how the excitement starts at the nine o'clock when we call the students from everywhere, all colleges, Seven o'clock when we go and arrange, one uh, gentleman, he is searching for the samples in the college and he was looking for jumping on the gate because we clogged the gate, so he jumped over the gates and he came, he collected the samples 
And later on, I came to know he is Dr. Manu Prakash, who is a computer technologist. He did from IIT Kanpur. Later on, he moved to Stanford. Then he merged into, he studied biology at that stage. Ultimately, what he has shown me, he has shown me from the water from my own college pond. And he has put the sample on a paper, folded paper with a small chip, a layer of microscopic film he arranged. He has shown me small moving organisms in that. And he projected with the use of mobile on a screen. And that is the excitement. That excitement has come from a biology student using technology, understanding chemistry, applying my principles of mathematics, and finally it has come on. That is what is the involvement. Can the you whole. Repeat his name, please. Dr. Manu Prakash, uh, and he is hardly 32 years, and his group of uh, postdoc fellows who have come almost 26 to 30 group. That is a very young group. In fact, for us to project on a screen by using mobiles and little bit, we are not that comfortable with the help of this Madam, young. Is, is he attached to an organization or He's an Stanford Engineering. Stanford. Uh, yeah, he's from Stanford. This is uh, what we, I try to tell you is like there are no barriers between the sciences, only from our comfort level and the subjects which you have selected at your class 12th level, what are the courses which are being offered and where are the courses which are going to take us again. So the, mostly the biology, because I've been asked, Delhi University runs lots of biology programs. And of course, a geology and a botany, classical geology and botany papers have undergone transformation totally. It is not like the earlier classical geology and botany they have. Under CBCS, the kind of core structures have emerged. That is, they have a core uh, subjects which they are going to offer. Because if you choose from botany, there are few classical botany papers. Mind it, if you don't read classical papers at an undergraduation level, there is no way you can pick it up at the post-graduation. That is the reason when we have either botany or a geology, classical geology papers as well. If you go for applied sciences like a microbiology, which basically revolves around the virology and the microbes as well, we have a biochemistry, which we talk about a more a biology, which is applied to chemistry. But for all these courses, what we have is the choosing subjects as physics, chemistry, botany, or a biotechnology is the best of the three which we have to do to go into this. And recently, Delhi University has this year, it has sanctioned uh, BSc in the forensic sciences. I will talk to you about that little later, what this is all going to be. But these biology courses, if you see that after uh, choosing this course based on your percentages or based on your interests, after having these 14, uh, 18 core subjects, the electives which they are offering, that is very, very important for you at this time. And that's where I request Sharanya and Deepak also to have counsel the students on the electives. And all these departments, both the biomedical sciences, which I'm going to tell you a little later, biomedical, geology, and botany, they have designed their electives so nicely. That is, it is more, I can say, student friendly. Why it is? Because if I choose a core subject like a geology with me, but if I can smartly choose nice electives from a subject of my interest, I can go for my master's program, not like my own um, geology. Now I can choose only geology uh, subjects, but uh, my entrance examinations, they look for a holistic knowledge of a biology. So there, my choosing these four subjects from the other disciplines, definitely it helps. And this is based on my one year experience of running this CBCS in the colleges. Most of my students who have already selected botany as their core subject, they are banking more upon biochemistry papers so that what is it going to give them? 
because what in a botany what they are not going to offer because it's very difficult also to offer number of courses within the 20 but if a student takes a biochemistry course after four modules what is it going to what is he going to get in their master's program master's program he can go for his msc botany which is his core subject if not he has got lot of biochemistry knowledge or for that matter a chemistry knowledge if I will tell you a little later how it is. So he will be in a position to crack his entrance examination with much confidence because four papers of this knowledge will definitely help the student to crack the paper. So that's why if you choose your electives very carefully like for example I will tell you the applied science microbiology. We have for physics, um, uh, chemistry, botany, if I uh, take uh, botany, geology and chemistry, PCB is the combination for uh, microbiology if I take. So in a core paper, we talk about industrial microbiology, environmental microbiology, basically the microbiology we talk about. But what it is going to help us to choose a microbiologist, if they have got lot of chemistry backup, chemistry background. That is what is required in a master's program. Suppose if you choose a microbiologist, go for a biotechnology. Without chemistry, we cannot understand any of this biotechnology. Basically, it is the designing aspect which comes as a recombinant DNA technology, which is the core paper of any MSc biotechnology if you take. This is the genetic engineering manipulations which comes unless otherwise I understand DNA properly. How can I design or how can I manipulate DNA? That is the crux of all biotechnology papers is this DNA manipulation which actually requires a heavy chemistry there and a very heavy mathematics and a biophysics principles. This is what is the smart way of choosing your four elective papers along with the core papers which you have. Now, when, while doing this, like I said that we have applied courses which are there apart from our geology, botany, we have uh, our biomedical sciences, biochemistry, as well as we have our microbiology and recent addition is a forensic science which has been added. It is about, uh, shall I take the question after this or simultaneously? Yes, yeah. So this forensic science which has been included in one of our colleges and it is extremely good because of a uh, lot of application in criminology there is a lot of application and if you have said the document validation it is a lot of application so what we are basically we are doing it we are understanding dna and we are manipulating dna and we are applicating giving the application to dna this is all possible now the whole aspect of the colleges which are offering all these science courses Delhi University in that way, very, very lucky to have uh, lots of co courses running in uh, laboratories very, very well. Because no matter what I say here, unless otherwise student has got a very strong hands-on experience, they will not able to adjust the subject, understand the subject or apply their knowledge. So Delhi University itself has strengthened their laboratories as well. Most of the colleges of Delhi University have got the extramural funding which is there. That is flowing either through towards uh, innovation projects which are coming through the Delhi, um, from the university or many of these Delhi University faculty is able to get the funding from Department of Biotechnology. Now what is it going to help us and how is it going to help us? Because the fee structure if you see that the fee structure what you are all paying for is actually not enough for us to run these experiments the way which we are talking about. Because as you all understand, if you do multiple times of an experiment, then only you are able to understand what actually is the experiment is. So that way, number of our colleges have been equipped, very good equipment at the bench level we are able to do that. Because of that, the strong fundamentals have been instilled in the students. 
that is what this extra funding to run all these courses delhi university is able to manage most of the delhi colleges are able to manage that's why the science courses students have who are coming out they have been taken into various integrated programs that is in the sense what are we going to do after doing this masters having selected uh, these main options are like a core papers and the electives one branch i am taking that you know i will go that means academically we are choosing masters programs at various uh, places starts from my parent university that is delhi university offers lots of masters programs in this by sciences apart from uh, these masters programs number of institutes all over the country they run integrated phd programs these integrated programs intake is uh, undergraduate and this uh, if the student excelled in undergraduation by cracking their entrance examination as well as by interviews discussion rounds you will be taken directly for a five year program this five year masters pro come phd program in a reputed institutes gives you a exceptionally good career in science being if you want to be a scientist and if you want to explore science more thoroughly or if you want to go in for a masters program to choose certain other options like what are the other options a geology student because of my electives which we have wildlife conservation is one of the electives which we have in a geology so they have a very good chance if you go for the far indian forest service if they want to write a competitive examination this wildlife is going to help like similarly in my botany programs are offering medicinal chemistry and all pharmaceutical industries these days it runs through this medicinal chemistry by biomedical sciences heavily bank upon this pharmaceuticals because they really want to understand the pathology of the disease and design the drugs and how actually you can change the drugs this will all happen when a student is genuinely interested when you are interested not only the concepts how you going to do in a laboratory how much because as dr ishwaran has said we don't have a limited working hours for a science student if you go by only the time tables 2 hours or 4 hours you will not be able to achieve what you want to achieve the actual science starts if you not going to count the experiment in terms of time but in terms of knowledge so that extends and most of the faculty if you show interest faculty of delhi university i'm sure that this stay back and help the student that's where our mentoring at the college level starts one student comes to us at a second year level and a third year level our mentoring starts but the present mentoring with uh, hariharan has started this is still we really don't really know the students who uh, faculty to address so this is the right uh, platform where they are trying to give you this mentorship now what are the other areas which have come up in uh, recently that interdisciplinary sciences which is a bioinformatics is one of this area which has come up very well the mathematics background and a physics background or a computer background they have to pick up biology for example i'll just give you this bioinformatics little bit more because there is no such discipline as a bioinformatics at a undergraduate level that may you may be expert in biology but unless otherwise you pick up computers or a pick up physics later stage you cannot be expert in bioinformatics same way you may be expert in engineering principles but unless otherwise you have a biology background you cannot really apply your uh, wisdom to this particular science now where are we bio instrumentations and the bio instrumentation in one more area biomedical engineering is one more area which is coming up most of you you have seen now the sophisticated apparatus which is being used in a medical uh, lots of hospitals where from it's coming it has come up from some of these who are experts and engineers engineering principles but they have to have kind of biology background to understand that and to develop and design the instrumentation same thing is like a bioinformatics you to see when we talk about a human genome project and how the entire genome has been sequenced how the drugs have been designed 
but that has been taken in, in a supercomputing lab where you have uh, lots of chemists, lots of computer engineers, mathematicians and the physics thoroughly they have done the calculations and at the biology lab it has been done. So it is, this is one area which has come up so well in all pharmaceuticals, you name any multinational Novartis, you name any Merck, all of them they take the students with a bioinformatics background. And the other subject which of late most of my students are going out is for neurosciences. This neurosciences which Max Planck at the time it is offering, but uh, many of these students, those basically from a geology, from biomedical and a biochemistry student, they are more going towards neuro. Earlier, 10, 5 years back, the trend is like a molecular biology. But now the trend is neurosciences it is going into because they want to do lots of things. And we have one institute here in Delhi, National Brain Research Center in Manasar. But that is not enough to accommodate so many students at that level. So this is one more a very nice option coming out as uh, neurosciences. And uh, environmental sciences which has come up these days, most of the students from my botany department students, they are going into environmental management. Some of these institutes, they are offering MBA as uh, in environmental management and the Terry also is offering masters in environmental sciences. So these are the areas, the promising areas which are coming up and I'll just conclude my thing with uh, this because there were so many things to share with you but 10, 20, 12 minutes we really can't do that but definitely with your PCB background you can choose you were very smartly your CBCS system and can do your whatever objectives and goals and you are dreaming you can always achieve. Thank you and all the best.